In the next decade, just consider this, the U.S. is going to be spending $100 million looking for signs of non-human intelligent life in the universe. But there is already non-human intelligent life on our planet. It's in our seas. <laughs> Dolphins and whales view the world through clicks, through a form of sonar. What they do is they send out a very loud signal and they wait for the echo of that signal to come back. And they process that to see with sound better than you and I can see with our eyes. Dolphin can tell the difference between a ping pong ball and a golf ball from 300 feet away. And a sperm whale can see a human from a mile away. These are the loudest animal sounds on the planets and they can actually penetrate through flesh so they can get a 3D view of what you look like. What we've learned more recently is they use these clicks in social behavior. This is obviously some form of communication. I think it's time we start listening to it. Something amazing happens when you free dive with these animals and when you enter the water in your natural state. Instead of swimming away from you, they start swimming towards you. And guess what? They start peppering you with their communication clicks. What this group is doing right now, they're called Darwin Project. They're using this free diving method to get within the pods of these animals, been able to get close enough to get this kind of data. This is the first time this has ever happened, and they're finding pretty amazing stuff. In the next year, this team is going to try something pretty revolutionary. They're going to try to capture in the full high fidelity, high definition, these clicks and then shoot them back to the animals and begin a sort of visual conversation with them. By making contact, even initial contact with them, this could be a way to giving them the same rights as other animals and other humans have.